G'day, this is Kieran, I'm from the Chira Pacific and we're going to do another bee, native bee translocation out in the bush today. Um, what we're going to do is actually do a, a budding, so we're going to attach one of our little bee boxes to the front of a, a beehive which is going to be cleared in about nine months. Um, in nine months time we'll come back and translocate the, the, both the budded box and the, the beehive from the hollow, uh, but we're just going to go through the process of, of doing the budding. So here's our little beehive. You can see a couple of bees coming out and there's also um, some termites here. Uh, quite often you'll find the bees and termites living in association with each other. Now our ecology team have come through this area of bush and we flagged this beehive for translocation when we identified it out on site. And uh, what we've got here today is our equipment down here. We've got our beehive which we're going to attach to the front of this hive. Uh, we've got a polystyrene box and we've got to drill some brackets, gaffer tape, marker pen and uh, drill bits. What we're going to do is use our bee box which is our, this is our front entrance here and what we've done is we've drilled a hole in the back and we're going to attach the back of the box to our log and we're going to use this shower rod holder and attach it here and then put a little pipe from here to the actual hollow where the bees are and what will happen is the bees will come out of the tree and in through the pipe into the back of this box. They'll realise there's a nice big empty cavity in there, um, they'll fly out the, the front and they'll actually start building a new hive in here. And within six to eight months we'll be able to take this hive and translocate it somewhere else in another patch of bush and then this log here that has the first hive in it we'll come and translocate that as well. So we'll end up with two hives that we're able to translocate. This is Bastion, he's our spotter catcher. And so he's just going to attach some of these parts to our little beehive and we'll go through the process of attaching it to the tree. Bastion's going to attach this little bracket to the front of the nest here. And before we did that, um, Bastion pulled this wax off the front. And the reason he did that is because we'll attach it to the front of our new box and when the bees come in and come into land they'll be able to smell this wax and they'll realize that that's their entrance or they'll think that that's their entrance and they'll enter through here and end up crawling through the empty box before going back into their hive. Okay, Bastion's just put the brackets in as you can see there's a little there's the little tube so they'll go from their tree here through the tube and then out the front of our entrance. So what we're going to do now is just put the wax on there so that they get the smell of their entrance and then we'll put the polystyrene box over the top to insulate them and uh, keep coming back and checking them. So in our boxes that we build up the top here there's a, a layer of perspex so we can actually just unscrew this lid and check on them without disturbing them and uh, be able to look at them through the perspex. There we go, our bee box is installed, translocation is complete and you can see the little bees are flying in and out of their new entrance already so that's a great outcome and we'll come back about every three or four weeks, take the lid off this, have a look through the perspex and see how they're going with building a new hive. So if you want to follow this story of this little beehive or learn about any other spotter catching work that we do at Natura Pacific or any of our other fauna or flora surveys, click on the link below and get in contact with us.